So this is the best value laptop under 80,000 for BTEC computer science students. But before I reveal the name, say this. So this is a gaming laptop under 80,000. But in Geekbench 6, the Misty laptop is scores almost double. And again, this is a thin and light laptop that claims to be perfect for his students. But once you open virtual machines, VS Code and Android Studio together, it starts lagging. What's even funnier, both these laptops looks perfect on paper. One has a so-called AI chip and other has a RTX graphic card. But which one should you really buy? is the real question. So here's what's happening. The gaming laptop doesn't really have good battery life, thin one isn't really meant for heavy workloads, but when it comes to the laptops, we have tested them all. And today we will tell you the best laptop under 80,000 for BTEC computer science students. So this is Avnis, you're watching Hardware Geek, let's go. This is the Asus Retro 14, which comes with the Intel Core Ultra 5 125H and is priced around 74,999. And honestly, it punches way above its price. The CPU scores around 6116 in PC Mark 10, so multitasking is smooth. You can run VS Code, PyCharm, Android Studio all together, and it won't lag. Docker, virtual machines, no tension. You can spin up isolated environments and test stuffs without any hiccups. The CPU also scores 30,672 in Geekpen 6. So it can handle light AI and machine learning tasks like small models, data pre processing, lean linear regression or basic neural networks. But don't even think about training a huge model or a massive data sets on this. And now the OLED display here is awesome. Vibrant colors, deep blacks, coding, watching videos or doing some casual design just looks soft. It weighs around 1.3 kg so it's super light and premium feeling perfect for carrying around campus. And battery is also decent too, giving about 5-6 to six hours of real use, enough to last a full day of lectures and coding grind. Now for the upgrading option, unfortunately the RAM is soldered, but there is one M.2 slot for SSD expansion. Alright, so let's say you wanna go all out, real power for CS and also AI and machine learning stuff. Enter the Lenovo lock with Ryzen 7 7435HS and RTX 4050 and it coming at around 83,290. CPU scores solid 6531 in PC Mark 10. The 8 cores in the CPU just eats multitasking and compiling for breakfast. You can run Docker containers, fire up multiple virtual machines, and code in heavy IDs like PyCharm or IntelliJ all at once and it won't slow down a bit. And also if you want to run Android Studio on this laptop, this will be the perfect machine. The RTX 4050 in Geekbench 6 OpenCL it is scored around 80,249 which is one of the highest on this list which is perfect for TensorFlow, PyTorch or messing with ML models locally. The display is also bright, sharp, it has 100% of sRGB coverage for coding, design and also for content creation. But the downside, yeah, it's kind of hefty at 2.4 kg. It feels like a tank in your back. And battery is meh, 2 to 3 hours so keep that charger handy. Now the upgrade game is strong though. You got 2 RAM slots and 2 M.2 SSD slots. So you can stack memory and storage if you want. Now if your priority is all day battery life, AI efficiency and portability rather than raw GP power, the HP Omnibook 5 with Ryzen AI7350 and Copilot Plus is a laptop to consider which is priced around 81,990. It comes with a Ryzen AI processor that it scores around 6,543 in PC Mark 10, giving a smooth performance for coding, multitasking and also AI assisted workflows. For CS and AI ML students, this means you can run VS Code, Jupyter Notebooks and AI tools locally. Why also messing with cloud ML stuff all without worrying about lag. The GPU here is an integrated Radeon i GPU. In Geekbench 6, it got an open CL score of 23,672, which is good enough for productivity and light machine learning workloads. But local heavy training, that's not its thing. Better life is the real winner here. You are getting around 9 hours of realistic usage, perfect for lectures, coding sessions and working on the go. And also weight is just around 1.4 kilos. It's super portable and easy to carry all day, but the upgrade options are limited. The RAM is soldered, but there is one M.2 SSD slot which you can swap with a bigger one in future. But what if you are looking for an all-rounder laptop that got solid CPU performance and also solid GPU performance? The Asus Gaming V16 that comes with the Core Ultra 5 210H and RTX 4050 is worth checking out. It's priced around 77,990. It talks a hybrid CPU scoring 6,717 in PC Mark 10, so multitasking, compiling code, and running development tools is smooth. For CS work, that means 
machines, Android Studio, virtual machines, AI projects all run fine locally. And that RTX 4050 GPU with 71651 Geekbench 6 OpenCL scores give you good speeds for machine learning experiment, rendering stuff, modded deep learning. Now the battery is mad, giving around 4 to 5 hours. So yeah, keep that charger nearby if you are going to do heavy work. The weight is under 2 kg, so it's heavier than thin laptop but it's really portable for a gaming laptop. Now the upgrade options are decent. There are 2 RAM slots and 1 M.2 SSD slot expansion. Now for developers who are all about Android Studio, full stack work or light AI tools, the Asus VivoBook S16 with Ultra 5 225H and Arc GPU is a solid pick. It's priced around 80,602 and it comes with the CPU hitting around 6,853 in PC Mark 10, which is highest in this list. So multitask and development workloads run smooth. For CS and AI machine learning, you can run VS Code, Docker, Android Studio and small machine learning projects without any hiccups. The GPU scores around 31,253 in Geekman 6 and can handle light GPU stuff and modded graphic work. But don't expect it to crush big ML training sessions like the dedicated GPUs. The battery also lasts around 6-7 to seven hours depending on what you are doing. So it's decent for lectures, coding or meetings. Even with the 16 inch screen, it's only about 1.5 kg so it's still very useful to haul around campus now for upgrading wise it's partially flexible one ram slot soldered and one extra slot for m.2 ssd now the last laptop in this list is for developers who care about oled visuals portability and a premium design this laptop is the lenovo yoga slim 7 that comes with the ultra 5 125h and it's priced around 81,990. it has a cpu hitting around 6431 in pc mark 10 so multitasking coding web development docker and android studio all run solid the gpu in geekbench 6 opencl scores around 30,587, which is good enough for development work light graphic world but don't expect it to handle heavy gpu based machine learning tasks the oled screen is the main highlight here vibrant colors deep blacks make coding watching stuff or casual design work look clean the battery also lasts around six hours with oled use so it will get you through a solid day of lectures or coding the weight is just around 1.4 kg so it's easy to run around campus or carrying between meetings and also the premium finish you get on this laptop it's comparable to that of a macbook if not better so that's a wrap up on the best laptop for computer science students under 80,000 from all day battery life to smooth coding experience to GPU power for AI and machine learning workloads. There are every laptop for each category. But before anything else, make sure to check out the best buying links down below in the description box. And by the way, buying from these links will not cost you anything extra. It will help me support the channel so I can make more videos for you. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification so you won't miss any of my future videos. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome and I will see you in the next one.